Welcome to another story and another video in my One Company, One Story series. This time, American Sup Superconductor. Oops. AMSC. They now have a name. Let's see if I can get rid of this thing after I get that. Get rid of that. Thank you. Thanks for putting up with that. Anyway, here comes the amateur legalese. I began investing in companies and their stocks in the late 70s, but I'm not a certified financial or investment professional. My style and history of investing is described in Dream, Invest, Live, a book I wrote by request, which came out as the Great Recession, the Second Great Depression, uh, began. Bad timing, eh? Uh, my personal finance blog, a blog about my finances, is uh, http trimbathcreative.net. I am not an investment professional. This is not financial advice. This is my telling the story of companies that I find intriguing and just doing it, uh, well, one at a time. This time it is about AMSC, a company that was previously known as American Superconductor, back when it had a name that gave the company an identity. Back then their goal was to do for electrical power what fiber optics do for telecommunications, deliver a lot and a little package. Now they are broader, trying to deliver grid efficiency, which, considering everything that's going on with electrical stuff right now, is quite impressive. And as they put it on one of their pages, uh, we don't generate the energy, we keep it flowing. We keep it moving. Pretty much the same thing. So uh, disclosure, I used to have uh, AMSC. That's one reason I, I know something about them. Uh, and if you want to hear that story, uh, go in the description or in the blog. And I've got links to that story as well. But let me put it this way. What I wrote back then, American Superconductor had and may have great promise. Uh, decades ago, they found a way to generate relatively high temperature superconducting cables in commercial quantities. Let's see if there's a picture of the... There we go. Over here is the uh, cable that's more than just a, a wire, that's for sure. The world's electrical... Returning back to that post, the world's electrical grid is old, inefficient, and due for some massive upgrades. We can't afford to waste energy. Superconducting cables can decrease the losses in transmitting electricity. The bonus is that the cables can also make better motors, utility-scale voltage generators, regulators, possibly tie the U.S. grids together, and help renewable energies like solar and wind farms. Great. Their superconducting cables are complex. I mean, that may be complex or not if you take a look at that uh, graphic there but you know uh, that is a not only a, a cable but it's also got to be refrigerated and they're also exotic they have some materials like yttrium y-t-t-r-i-u-m uh, which is uh, well it's not something i'm going to find at my local big box store that's for sure but imagine trying to upgrade uh, an existing city. And if it you, matter of fact, is this back here, back there is a picture of a city? Yeah. Imagine going into a city like this and trying to upgrade it. Uh, you might have to dig up streets and uh, you know how, how unpopular that is. But if you can send more power down the available uh, right of way, conduits and things like that, then you have a a viable market. More power down an old pipe instead of digging up yet another street? Sweet. Cables aren't just cables, though. They have better vet of, uh, cables aren't just cables, but it's also because they're not just selling cables. Superconductor also allows for better voltage regulation, uh, more efficient transfer of power, and more efficient motors. And take a look around, and electric motors are now, you know, even running cars and trucks and buses and trains and there's plenty of opportunity, at least within that industry. So if you look at their website, and that's what we're doing here, you look down here at their products, there is a lot more than just uh, electrical generation or uh, regulation and transmission. Uh, really, when you get down to it, when you can, anything you can do to decrease the size or increase the efficiency of electric motors, motors and whatnot, is a bonus, is a plus. And in particular, that is true in the marine world where you've got to fit everything on board a boat. You've got to fit everything on board the system. And efficiency of a few percent can be a major thing for a, a commercial venture. 
So they're they're tapped into that market as well. Sorry for any puns that just came in there. They're also involved in uh, along the way. They became involved in uh, wind turbines, and let's see if they've got a picture of that. If I can't find it real quick, there's something called wind tech that they're talking about. There we go, wind tech. Along the way, they uh, had the opportunity to buy into a wind turbine design firm, which was really successful. It was a sweet time to get into it. I can't remember exactly when it happened, but it was probably about 10 years ago at least. And, uh, well, you know, you can see where they're heading to. They're, if you look up here on their website, they're doing the grid stuff, marine stuff, and wind stuff. So this is actually a basic idea of the superconductor cables, but I've also expended a little bit, extended a little bit into just design stuff, which doesn't require superconductivity. And it's a nicely situated company for a world right now that needs, well, like they're saying, maximizing green energy. They were also involved in a project to connect America's three main power grids, which I don't have a direct link to on this. Uh, but it's the sort of thing that would have, could have helped well, I wonder if it could have helped Texas a while back uh, when they uh, had their power grid system uh, issues in the wintertime because they couldn't connect into the West Coast or the East Coast power grids. And uh, AMSC was actually working on a project that would have allowed that. So there's all this potential. So what happened? Well, the company became target of a scandal. A, a company, a, a customer, which of course is company, acquired enough information from at least about at least one aspect of the company to become a competitor instead of a customer. So if you imagine running a company and you're making lots of money off of one customer and all of a sudden, not only have you lost that revenue stream, but now you've also got them competing against the rest of your clients. And uh, well, that's, uh, that's difficult. AMSC eventually won their case, but they lost a big revenue stream. And as is typical, the losses recovered was a small fraction of the total impact on the uh, on the company. Matter of fact, let's uh, can you guess when that sort of thing happened? Um, the investment community is run by humans, so sentiment matters, and the stock suffered. Uh, whether that is persisting in the the perspective of the uh, the investment community. Or is something else fundamental having happened about then? That's about when I sold. I sold not. I, I sold after the fall. Trust me. I wish I would have sold at the peak. The peak, but I was holding at the peak because I saw they were climbing and I thought they had a really good uh, potential. So hopefully that is behind them now. Uh, hopefully that didn't impact the way they can advance their technologies and their products and their services. But uh, folks have been following it even tighter. Uh, can address that. I'd like to focus on what's the basic thing they're doing. The basic thing they're doing is working with some really neat technologies to do some things that potentially could really benefit some of the things that we're trying to do in the world right now. So let's just go back to their pretty pictures of what they've got going on. I want to go back to my blog post from 2020 when I uh, sold the stock. And that is so really just a about two years ago, AMSC has taken so long to develop that I believe competing, competing technologies like graphene and other superconducting materials may have caught up enough to outcompete AMSC, but I don't know. Uh, at the time, though, I found myself with a limited portfolio. In other words, not a whole lot of money, uh, partly because AMSC crashed so hard. Uh, that uh, I found a more attractive investment, and that's basic basics of investing. Where do you think is the best place to put your money? Uh, so about two years ago, I decided to switch over to a different investment, and I can talk about that separately. But uh, at this point, you can read, read those details in the blog post, which is, of course, chronicled in the blog itself, because this video always has a post that goes with it, and also in the, the description. So American Superconductor, oops, now called AMSC, has uh, it keeps intriguing me because I like what they're trying to do. I don't know if the way they're trying to do it is the best way to do it, but I also know that uh, we need to not just come up with, uh, 
well, better, faster, cheaper is always the thing, right? But uh, they have some solutions that I like the way they could retrofit cities. I like the way they connect, could connect the uh, various uh, grids together. I like the fact that they can make power transmission more efficient. I mean, one way to limit the number of power stations we have to build is to make better use of the power there the other ones are already generating. And anything that reduces those losses is a, is a positive. So uh, with that, and uh, with that reality, thank you, Google Finance, for being able, for, for, for providing that. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Again, this is Tom Trimbath. I'd like to do this about once a, well, we'll see how often I'm going to be doing this. Right now it's been about once a month. And uh, I am a, again, I am not an investment professional. This is not financial advice. But I know that when I wrote my book, Dream, Invest, Live, one thing that intrigued me, and also within my years of investing, which goes back to the 70s, so many people get caught up in the price of the stock as if that's the entire story. And I'm fascinated by the people and the comp in the company and what they're trying to do and how much progress they're making, particularly if they are a positive product, something that we need, or at least we need someone to do something like that. And uh, even though I do not have AMSC anymore, I still watch what they're doing because I cheer them on. So with that, I hope this has been useful to you. And again, I'm Tom Trimbath, TrimbathCreative.net. And uh, let's see if I can turn this thing off because, hey, I think I'm done. <laughs>